Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Francis Bisi. Uh, today we shall be reviewing some of the past questions on biology based on our previous topic, the circulatory system. We are picking some random questions from the year 1978 and 2024. So let's look at the first question today. Number one says, which of the following describes the sequence of flow of blood from the heart to the tissue? We, we remember we're talking about circulation revolve, the pumping of the blood from the heart into the tissue through some venous, blood vessels, such as vein and artery. So let's see, A says, the blood flows from the heart to the artery and to the atrial and the tissue. You know, the heart takes the, the blood moves from the heart to the artery, meaning the artery is larger than the artery. So the blood moves away from the heart in, through the artery, then through the artery, which is the smaller part, then into the tissue. That's A. Then B says, from the heart to the vein. The vein takes the blood into the heart. So the answer is no. From the heart to the vein. The vein is the smaller version of the vein. So of course, but you cannot take blood away from the heart. Then D, from the heart to the artery is not. It should be the heart to the artery because the artery is quite smaller than the artery. So the correct answer is A, from the heart to the artery, then to the artery, then back to the tissue. All right, number two question says, the primary structure responsible for pumping of the blood for circulation through the mammalian circulatory system is, remember, the heart actually is the structure where the pumping starts from. But the, the primary structure where the, that area of the heart where the pumping actually starts from A, right auricle, no, it can be from the, the upper auricle, B, arteries, no, the left ventricle, yes, D, vein, no, the answer is C, the left ventricle, this portion of the heart. This is the heart, we have the left auricle, you know, if you're facing the heart like this, when you, this becomes the left, this is the right auricle. The auricle is the upper portion of the heart, while the lower portion is the, is the, is the, is the, is the vent. And since the heart is divided into four portions, so this region of the heart is where the pumping of the blood actually starts from. Yes, number three, question. It says, circulation of blood to all parts of the body, except the lung, is through what? The circulation of the part, the circulation of blood to all part. The other pre, the other day we said circulation is of two types. We have blood pumping through the heart to the lungs and back to the heart. That is one. Then another one is pumping from the heart to all parts of the body except the heart. That's another. So today we want to know the circulation of the blood to all parts of the body except the lungs is called what or through what systemic circulation. A. Eh? B. Lymphatic system. Lymphatic system. No. Pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary has to do with the heart, the, with the lung. Then pulmonary artery. The answer is A. Systemic. Systemic. Because the blood comes from all come from the heart to all part of the body, all part of the organ, except the lung. If it passes through the lung, that's what we call a pulmonary. Pulmonary. So the correct answer is A. 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 So number four. Number four question says the blood components that have the greatest affinity for oxygen. When we say affinity, law that binds the blood component that binds with oxygen is what? Very simple. A. Leukocytes. Leukocytes are called the white blood cell. Then we have erythrocytes. The erythrocytes are called the red blood cells. Then B, C, thrombocytes. No. Then we have the lymphocytes. The correct answer is erythrocytes, which is the red blood cell, because they bind with oxygen 
in the form of hemoglobin called oxyhemoglobin, meaning they carry oxygen around the body through the binding of hemoglobin to the red blood corpuscle. The correct answer is B. The next question five says, which of the following is true of leukocyte? Which of the following is true of leukocyte? Sorry, don't mind. Through. It's a typographical error. I hope I'm, I'm, I'm muted to correct this. Through of leukocyte. They are large and nucleated. You know, when we say leukocyte, they are white blood cells. They are involved in blood clotting. White blood cells. They are responsible. They are respiratory pigments. They are most numerous. The correct answer is A. They are large and nucleated. We say white blood cells have nucleus. They are quite larger than the red blood cells. And they are nucleated. Nucleated means they have nucleus in them. So the correct answer is A. Number six. Question six says, which blood cells are involved in the immune response of the vertebrae? We have a number of blood cells, with the red blood cell, the white blood cell, the lymphocyte, and so on. But there are some that are responsible for immunity. A. Lymphocyte. B. Erythrocyte. C. Monocyte. And then D. Phagocyte. The correct answer is the lymphocyte. They are responsible for building immune system in any living organism. All right, let's look at the seventh question. It says, the blood circulatory system of vertebrae consists of A, the heart, that's what makes up the circulatory system, the iota, the capillary, and the vein. B, the heart, the iota, the arteries, and the vein. C, the heart, the vena cava, the arteries, and the vein. The vena cover does not involve the circulatory system. Then D, the heart, arteries, capillaries, and the vein. The correct answer is D, the heart, arteries, and the capillaries and the vein. Number eight, which of the following helps in the clothing of blood? We say blood clothing is a process whereby blood flow can be hindered, can be prevented. So there are cells responsible for this. Number one, white blood cell. B, plasma. C, platelets. Then D, red blood cell. The correct answer is C, blood platelets. They are responsible for blood growth. Number eight, a person whose blood can... Number nine, number nine. A person whose blood can be donated to all other people must have the blood group as yes we said we have four types of blood group blood group a i mean option a says blood group o b a b c b and then d of course the answer is group o only blood group o can donate blood to everyone number 10 the heart of the adult frog consists of the following. The heart is actually divided of the heart. The heart of a frog is actually divided into three parts. Number one, A, two auricles and two ventricles. B, one auricle and one ventricle. Two ventricles and one auricle. D, one ventricle and two auricles. Yes, the mammalian heart. The heart of a frog or amphibian is actually in this format. We have the ventricle to be just one, one ventricle. Then the auricles are divided into three. So meaning we have three compartments, unlike the mammalian heart, where we have four compartments here. But here we have three, one ventricle and two auricles. So the correct answer is D. Number 11. Question 11 says, 
which of the following form about 55% of the volume of the blood in man. The portion of the blood component that is higher compared to all other components is what? Meaning about 55%. A, platelets. B, plasma. Then C, erythrocyte. D, leukocyte. The correct answer is plasma. The plasma is the liquid portion of the blood system. So it's quite richer. It's quite the, 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 the quantity of the plasma is bigger than all other blood components. So the correct answer is the plasma. Number 12. Question 12 says, in the adult mammalian blood, the cells which lack nuclei are nucleic are they are nucleic cells. We told you the white blood cells are nucleated. From the previous question you discovered, we talked about some of the questions. And some of the questions that asked us about the blood component that have nucleus in them, which we have said, we said they are the white blood cells. So we said, in this case, that they are saying, which of the cells lack nuclei? A, erythrocyte. B, lymphocyte. C, leukocyte, and then D, phagocyte, of course. All of that one, all the three options, B, C, D, they all have nucleus in them. So the only option without nucleus is the erythrocyte, which is also known as the red blood cell. Number 13, the importance of blood platelets is that, what is the function of the blood platelet? It said, number one, digest harmful bacteria, no. Release from being for blood clothing. Yes, of course, blood clothing. Production of antibodies for cell defense. Then D, produce antitoxin. The correct answer is that they release from being for blood clothing. They are responsible for blood clothing. Anytime you hear blood platelet, what they do is they are responsible for clotting of the blood. Number 14. The question here says, the process of utilizing the products of the digested food in animal is called what? We mean during digestion, the digested food component can either be glucose, they can either be that is they are glucose if they are from if they are from carbohydrates, is either they are from fatty acid, if they are from fat and oil, or they are from amino acid if they are from protein so what is the product the process of utilizing this product use what is it called number one it's called absorption b says digestion c assimilation and then d ingestion the answer is assimilation the ability to take in this digested food into the body cell Number 15. Number 15. Question 15 says, blood circulation from the heart. The blood circulation from the heart to the lung and back to the lung is called, we have said that in the past, pulmonary circulation, single circulation, systemic circulation, double circulation. The answer is, we have told you whenever you hear lung, then the another name for lung is pulmonary. So the answer is pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary circulation. Number 16. Question 16 says, the blood cells that are large, colorless, and contain nucleus. You see, some of these questions are diverted. They are kind of the same, but they are kind of, you know, they use different languages. But they are in different years, so they are still the same. It's a kind of repetition. So the blood cells that are large, colorless, and contain nucleus is called A, thrombocyte, B, lymphocyte, C, leukocyte, then D, erythrocyte. The answer is leukocyte. Leukocyte simply means the white blood cell. That's another language for white blood cell. Number 17 says, a two-chambered heart 
a two chamber hand. We say obviously can either have one chamber hat, two chamber hat, three chamber hat, and four chamber hat. But a two chamber hat consists of what? A ventricle and a capillary. Is that the name? Atrium and capillary. C. Atrium and ventricle. Then D. Ventricle and ureter. The correct answer is atrium and ventricle. The upper for a two chamber heart, this is a four chamber, this is a three chamber heart. For a two chamber heart like this, where we have the ventricle and one auricle, otherwise known as boy. If, if, if it has only one, we call it atrium. So, atrium and ventricle. So, they are named ventricles and atrium for a two chamber. Then, also, we are taking the last question for today. Question 18. The function of the pulmonary vein in the heart is to what? What does the pulmonary vein do to the heart? A. Oxygenated blood to carry oxygenated blood into the heart. B. Oxygenated blood out of the heart. D. The oxygenated blood into the heart. Then D. The oxygenated blood out of the heart. The correct answer is A, which is oxygenated blood into the heart, meaning they receive oxygen from the lung into the heart. That is the correct answer. Pulmonary vein carry oxygenated blood, meaning they receive oxygen. They pass through the heart to collect oxygen and then back into the heart. Then the heart now pumps across all other cells of the body. So today we are coming to the end of the question that we pick randomly from the year 1978 to 2024. Hi, if you have not subscribed to this channel, you can do so in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And don't forget to hit.